everybody. Uh, Maris Wicks here. I'm a Boston area illustrator and writer, and uh, I'm gonna draw some whales today. So grab a pencil and some paper. You don't have to be a uh, professional artist. I mean, I don't even know why I'm a professional artist. I just draw. It's great. It's super fun. So uh, grab something to draw with and uh, let's get started. The whales that we're going to draw today are right whales. I'm going to share my computer screen so you can see what I'm drawing. Uh, normally I draw with a pencil, but I'm drawing with a digital pencil today uh, just so you can follow along and see it on the screen. But I normally like to draw with a regular, a regular pencil. So boop, 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 boop. I'm going to share my screen here and hopefully now you can see my screen. So uh, right whales. Uh, we do not have any right whales in the aquarium. Right whales are rather large, although there is a right whale skeleton in the aquarium. So if you're in there, you can see what their insides look like. Um, but they're a whale that's found off the coast of uh, New England in the summertime. And in the wintertime, they're hanging out down in uh, warmer waters near the Caribbean where they have their calves. So uh, we're going to start with their basic body shape. And uh, I'm going to make it look easy and then it's going to get slightly harder. So uh, let's go for a half circle. So a line across the top and a curve on the bottom. Um, I like to draw in pencil just because I can erase. In this case, I can erase on the uh, the computer, just a little digital guy. But uh, basic right whale body shape. Uh, what I'd like to do next is give them a tail. So we're going to just like stretch this out a little bit. It's a triangle. And then put two more triangles on the end of there. So this is kind of going to be a little a little strange looking, but just bear with me here. So one there, one there. And then another one there. And we'll, we'll come back to this tail. Do not worry. We're going to give this whale some more curves. Uh, we're going to put some other triangles on the front. They've got really cool, uh, really short, steady flippers. Uh, you might be familiar with humpback whales, and they've got really long flippers. But right whales have little short ones. So it's kind of like an upside down, almost looks like a, a dorsal fin on a shark or on a whale. But we'll just give that line there. And we'll do another one on the other side. In profile, this one just kind of looks like a little skinny triangle. Just want to this on the side. And then uh, right whales have a really cool mouth. Uh, I think their mouth shape is really fantastic. And we're going to talk about why their mouth looks that way in a second. But we're going to draw this one with a closed mouth. So get ready to draw a squiggly line. Um, we're going to start down at the bottom, kind of like the letter U. And then we're going to take that U all the way up to the top. They go up again and then make it go down. And I didn't know how to describe that shape. So it's just the squiggly, the squiggly. Whenever I, I usually try and use shapes or like letters of the alphabet to talk about drawing. Um, but sometimes it's hard and I just have to, we have to draw squiggles. So let's give this friend an eye. Oh, hello there, right in the U. And then I wanted to add a little bit of curve. So I drew this one very kind of um, blocky. But we're going to give this whale. Um, some softer lines. So right back uh, at the end of the tail, curve that line so you don't really have a, a pointy triangle. And you can you can erase that part if you want or not. Um, and then we're going to go along here and we need to make just where the blowhole is. So whales have their nose on the top of their heads. It's a blowhole. Uh, right whales have a double blowhole. So they have two nostrils like we do um, on our nose, except it's on their head. And uh, yeah, I think it'd be kind of interesting if we had noses on our heads. Um, it's very helpful for whales if you think about it, because they don't have to like look up and get a breath for their nose when they go to breathe, because they're mammals like us, so they have to breathe air. They can just hold their breath for probably a lot longer than humans can. Um, we're going to keep going to the tip of this whale's snout and round that as well. And then, yeah, that's that's pretty much our right whale. Uh, we'll go back to the tail in a second. I'm just going to erase that line there. Um, for their, their tail, their fluke uh, in the back here, I just kind of make like the upside down kind of a heart. And that's our, that's our tail. So let's go back to the mouth. And this is kind of one of the, the magic parts of getting to draw digitally. This whale's mouth is closed. We're going to feed this whale. I think this whale wants some copepods, maybe a little bit of krill, really tiny, tiny zooplankton, like animal, uh, animal plankton in the ocean. So their mouth opens like this. Oh, I should know, bigger, bigger, bigger. And when their mouth opens, 
basically creates suction. And that suction can pull in a whole bunch of prey. So we're gonna do some like action lines. This is something we use in cartooning. Um, whoop, 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 that's the water all going in. The little plankton being like, oh no, we're getting sucked in. The plank plankton don't really have any agency. They don't really, have, they're not conscious, but I like to do the voices for animals sometimes just because. Um, really, the plankton don't know they're getting eater. It's, it's, it has, it's quite fast. Um, and then inside the whale's mouth, instead of teeth like we have, um, right whales are baleen whales. So they have baleen. So it's basically like kind of like a hairbrush almost. I was trying to think of like what's in your house that you might, might look like baleen. Um, it's like bristly, almost like layers of combs too that's in their mouth. Um, kind of like thick hairs even. So we're going to draw this baleen. It comes all the way down from the top. Oh, hello, friend. Got your baleen in there. So the whale will suck in all this ocean water that has plankton in it. It will push out the water through its baleen. And then on the inside of the baleen will be all those delicious plankton. So they'll lick it all off with their tongue and then swallow it. Um, I'm glad that we don't have to eat that way because it'd be a, like, I started to think of like, what if you had to eat your cereal that way? Don't try it. It doesn't work. Just not that I've tried. Um, but yeah, it's really cool for them. It's a great adaptation for these whales, but it's not the easiest way for us to eat. So I wanted to do one more drawing of a right whale. Um, and I wanted to draw a right whale from above because most of the ways that humans will see right whales is through uh, the top of the water or the surface of the water. So, you know, you might, you might see, if you're on a whale watch boat, you might see one like this. That's what their blow looks like. So when they uh, exhale, they breathe out and it looks kind of like a V from far away. But if you are a whale researcher, a scientist, you might be seeing whales from the top down because the way that scientists um, identify and study these whales often to count their numbers is to go up in an airplane and look down to see if they can find them. So we're gonna draw our right whale from above. Um, so I would like you to draw a stretched out football shape. So kind of like you took a football and just pulled it so it's a little thinner than a regular football. Um, now the top drawing, that whale doesn't look like it would go very fast, but when you look at a right whale from above, they actually are pretty uh, hydrodynamic. And that just means they can go fast in the water. Their bodies are built kind of torpedo shaped to allow them to, to swim easier in the water. Um, at the end of their tail, we're gonna draw that fluke. So kind of like a triangle and almost like the top of a heart when we put the triangle in half. And then their uh, flippers stick out just a little bit on the sides. We've got that double blowhole, looks like a V up there. And on this end of the football, I'm gonna say you can make it a little squishy, kind of like the football ran into a wall. Um, so it's not super pointed. And their mouth from above kind of looks like, this end almost looks like a Q-tip. And then, what did I do that part wrong? I'm sorry, I did it backwards. I, now, oh, I'm gonna fill you in on a secret here in a second. Sorry, draw that Q-tip the other way. Again, this is why I said we use a eraser. Um, I do have a little, I'm gonna call it a cheat sheet, but it's not really a cheat sheet. I just kind of did my homework before we started today and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, because when I draw very cartoony, but I still draw from life. So I did some research and I looked at pictures of whales before. So I draw eyes on the side. Um, so I'm just gonna show you my sketchbook. This is why I keep looking down. This is my little cheat sheet. Um, and it's just the doodles of the whales that I had done before. Um, the last thing I wanna tell you about right whales before we wrap up is that they've got some kind of right whale flare on there. They have uh, these things called callosities, which are kind of like bumpy rough patches of skin that are on the top of their body, around their mouth, around their eyebrows. And it's actually how we tell each right whale apart. All their callosities have different patterns depending upon the whale. So we got to draw these friends some callosities. Um, and it kind of just looks like, kind of like white crusty bumps. And I said sometimes it's usually around their eyebrows. It almost looks a little like cauliflower. We'll give this, this friend some too. Um, and yeah, each, each whale has a different pattern of callosity. So if you're a scientist looking down in an airplane and you see a right whale, you can take a picture 
And from that picture, there's actually a binder of these whales and you can, you can identify the whale by the callosity patterns on there. Um, now, the New England Aquarium has been studying and working on conservation with right whales for over 40 years. Um, and part of that reason is because right whales are critically endangered. So that means there's not a lot of them and they're, they're, um, it's, it's, we need to protect them because there's not that many left. There's uh, under 350 right whales left, uh, North Atlantic right whales left on this planet. 350 is not a lot. So um, there's policies, there's things that we can put in place that help protect these whales. Um, shipping lanes, like where ships go, because sometimes where ships go are also where whales go. So figuring out how to make it safer for whales to travel in the ocean. Um, thinking about ocean pollution and uh, like fishing lines that end up in the ocean. Those could be really dangerous for whales. So figuring out how to make safer fishing lines, how to make sure there's less fishing lines that end up in the ocean. Um, and if you'd like to learn more about right whales, there's a whole bunch of information on the New England Aquarium's website. Um, and there's also some cool, you can see some real pictures of them either from aerial surveys or even from whale watch pictures. Uh, you, can, you, can, you can check them out. So thank you. I hope you've had fun drawing these right whales today and feeding them plankton and learning about their velocities. And uh, enjoy. And I'll see you next time. Bye.